Welcome to this channel. In this tutorial, we will simulate the inverter using the Verilog based programming language and also we will write a test bench using the model sim tool. Before going into this tutorial, I request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel below. In model sim, the basic simulation flow is shown below. Creating a working library, compile the design file, load and run the simulation and then debug the result. In model sim, all the designs are compiled into a library. So the first step is to create the working library. Go to file. Click on change directory. You can create your design folder. So you must create working library directory. So select the working library directory as work1 folder. Now let us create the library work1. So go to file, click on new, select the library and now in my case i had already defined a, a previous library called as work so we will define in this as work one you can keep it as work so we will create the library work one you can see that the new work library has been created now we must create new project called as inverter. Click on file, click on new and select project. The existing project closes and now enter the project name as inverter and the default library name will be work and copy the library mapping click OK, you can see a new project window appears. Now click on create new file and define the file type or add the file type as Verilog and define the name as INV. So you can see an INV Verilog file is present. Double click on that INV dot Verilog file and we have to type the coding Verilog coding. Now we will write the Verilog code. The Verilog module has a declaration and a body. In declaration we have to define the name input and the output of module as listed in this particular tutorial. The body shows the relationship between the input and the output. The name of module in this tutorial is INV which is user selected. In case of Verilog it is case sensitive whereas in case of VHDL it is not case sensitive. The name of module must start with an alphabetical letter and can include a special character that is underscore. Declaration of module starts with a predefined word module followed by the user selected name that is INV in this particular example. The input for the inverter and the output for the inverter is defined and follows the same guidelines as the module name. We must define the signal assignment statements that is assign b equal to tilde a semicolon. The symbol represents the not or the inverter operation and this symbol is called the logical operator. 
the statement for defines the relationship between the input and the output and the end module is the predefined word which terminates the module now right click on the question mark and select compile and compile the selected the compilation is successful now we must create a test bench for inverter so right click and select add to project and add the file name as tinv select the add file type as verilog now double click on the tinv and we have to type the verilog code test bench for this particular inverter I had already written the test bench for the inverter. Now let us see what are the important functionality of this particular test bench. So the test bench is to apply the stimulus to the design and report the output in a readable format. The test bench starts with a module definition. Next, we must define the TUT that is design under test. So for a Verilog test bench, the input to DUT is reg and the output is declared as wire. The stimuli are generated by an initial or an always procedural block in the test bench. To display the value of signal, we use the dollar monitor syntax. This will display the value every time when one of its parameter changes. Now, once this particular Verilog test bench is completed, we need to compile this. Now, save this particular test bench and right click on the question mark and select compile compile selected you can see that this particular test bench is also successful go back to the work library you can note that there is only inv underscore db is present which means that there is a error in the INV Verilog file. The error is we had missed out the semicolon next to the INV A comma B module definition. So we have to apply the semicolon and then we have to compile this particular selected module again. Now go back to the work file and you can see both the file now right click on inv underscore test bench and again uh, right click and define add wave now you can run the simulation button you can see the simulation of the inverter using the test bench condition you can verify this particular test bench where we had defined you can compare the waveform simulation with the test bench what we had written and you can verify your particular Verilog code test bench with the waveform which has been generated thank you for watching this tutorial i hope this has helped your learning purpose I request you to like share and subscribe my channel below